Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Are you ready to have some fun today? Are you ready to have some easy fun today? Well, this is very easy, very fun, and you may already have the supplies around your house. Just take a look. Okay, so what we're doing today is we're having fun with envelope notebooks. That's right. Now this has been done a million times, but I'm just going to show you some different ideas and different takes and different ways you can do them. A lot of us have piles of envelopes sitting around. Maybe we gathered them from the thrift store. Maybe we've got extra um, Christmas cards sitting there um, way more uh, than we have friends and family. <laughs> and uh, we've just got this plethora of envelopes. Now you can also get envelopes at the dollar store, at garage sales, at thrift shops, uh, from your friends and family, and also remember the lovely junk mail delivery system that comes to your door every day delivering to you envelopes. Remember those envelopes inside of junk mail that are, are clean and ready to send your money off? Well, pfft, keep your money, keep the envelope. <laughs> Maybe pay online instead, I don't know. But Envelopes are gold in the world of junk journals. So let me show you three prototypes that I did to give you some different ideas. All right, zoom in, zoom. Okay, this is prototype number one. This is using, I, I should, hang on, I'll show you. I'm back. This is using just a regular greeting card envelope and um, you know, it really, any greeting card envelope will work. Sorry, I'm a little close there. Um, but uh, let me show you the prototype and I just wanted to show you different ways we can make these. Okay, so here is the prototype. <laughs> uh, what I did was I layered on the front of her uh, and I'm going to show you different ways to make these um, sewing and not sewing so depending on what your supplies are or uh, skill level is or just what you prefer um, you can have fun with it now this one is on the front I sewed a picture of a Victorian lady to a piece of coffee dyed and um, uh, ink stained fabric that I uh, played with and then I stenciled the front I put some stick um, this stuff liquid pearls in bronze on here but uh, of course I smudged it three times as I was waiting for it to dry so I just applied it over and I call it the the weathered primitive rustic look because this is going to be looking aged and weathered I also whoop, let me back up a little bit okay um, I also uh, stenciled the back uh, but this particular one is not sewn here, I used a staple to hold that together and I'll just show you that. Okay, so inside, we're using the flaps of the, the flap of the envelope to make a little pocket. Okay, it was oriented like this. And uh, that, so this makes a pocket and you can tuck some fun little things in here for people to explore. Maybe stickers or quotes or little pieces of pretty paper or journal cards or tags or tickets or what have you not. Um, or owls, if you like owls. Uh, I put a stamp here just for fun because it doesn't bulk it up. It just gives it, oh, I feel my finger in the stickles. Yep, okay, I just, you know, it's a thing, it's a thing. Okay, um, uh, you know, I could wait for it to dry, but I've got I've got so many things to do. I always wanna keep making, making stuff with you guys. Okay, so I layered in a bunch of papers and I even put just a little fun surprise paper in the center as a fun surprise paper in the center. And uh, I put a staple in the center to anchor it. Now. That's not center, I know. I misstapled my staple. But I was aiming for the center, so that is the ideal location when you are uh, placing your stapler, stapler down. Um, and we will review that. Um, okay, I uh, just tucked some extra things in the back. Okay, and then there's that. Now you can also cut these ends off and that will give you pockets. And I did that one in the next one to show you what that is like, but you don't have to. That's just optional. That can give you more places to tuck things in. All right, so very easy to do, very fun, one and done. Okay, number two. All right, number two was a, um, it's like a, I, ha I got some of these off, I think AliExpress. They were just pretty envelopes. I think they came with envelopes and paper. I'm, I like, I love stationery. And um, it already had some design on it. So I thought, well, you know, why don't I just work with the design that's there? So this is what the envelope originally looked like. Okay, and I just folded it in half. And uh, so on the front, I put some stickles, not stickles, this stuff, liquid pearls in bronze. <laughs> and uh, I put a postage stamp, you know, since we were going with the envelope, uh, a little, uh, this is a piece of cotton, like a bed sheet with a word stamped on it, more uh, liquid pearls. And I just highlighted the little flowery things with liquid pearls as well. And then I inked around the edges. And this one I did sew down the middle, which is very easy. If you can get the straight sit stitch and the zigzag stitch down on your sewing machine, you are golden, you are going places, let me tell you. Okay, 
Uh, so this one had a little bit different of a flap on the inside. I think these are dry. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, so this one had a different kind of flap. Looks like this, this kind of flap, okay? Uh, so this made a pocket like this. Now what I wanted to show you, here's the pocket, obviously. I just glued that together there, okay? And then I cut off this edge, and I cut off this edge. And I'll show you exactly how I did that to make it easy for you. And um, the back. Instead of closing this one, I left it open so people can pull things in and out easily here. And I want to show you options that you have. So you have, you can seal this edge or you can just leave it open so it's easy to tuck things in and out of there. And uh, there you go. This one I used college roll paper that had been uh, coffee sprayed and coffee dyed. And then I sewed down the center one stitch, uh, one straight stitch. I made the stitches a little bit wider than normal so that it uh, wouldn't puncture the paper too much. And I did a tiny little bit of back stitching on the top and the bottom just so um, it would anchor it in. Okay, and then there's the back is already decorated, so that's a Dunsey. There's Holly, my African gray parrot, in the background, if anybody's curious. Um, and he loves to chime in while we are crafting together. Okay, now this, we're, we're going up the, um, what I want to call the evolutionary scale of envelopes. Maybe you have a really cool envelope and you want to use it somehow in your... Um, crafting and uh, I believe this came from a very good friend of mine in France. Um, Kizzy, you know who you are and um, thank you so much. I mean, isn't this cool? This is the Envoy de l'Institut Pasteur. I mean, hey, hey, that's a special envelope. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. That looks, that looks really cool to me. So I wanted to leave everything intact. I didn't want to cut it up. I wanted to leave it pristine and um, offer it to the uh, recipient of the journal intact so but i still wanted to have some fun with it so how do you have fun with an envelope you're not gonna you know cut up and chop up and, and do all that kind of stuff too um okay so what i did was went ahead and i took some coffee dyed papers lined paper uh, this is blue cabbage i call it blue cabbage because it makes blue paper but it's actually red cabbage which looks purple when you'll see it in the store it looks purple not red but uh so anyway the paper is blue from the red purple cabbage and uh, just some and I did some alternating papers um, and I want to show you how to do that it's very easy quick little tip there lots of fun with the paper to be had now instead of taking this and actually sewing it to the envelope I tied it on kind of like a, um, a TN traveler's notebook style but instead of punching the holes and stuff I just wanted to leave it um, simply, it's just a simple string, nothing fancy. Um, one of these embroidery crochet sort of mystery strings I got from the thrift store. And I just uh, wrapped it around maybe three times and then tied it in the back. Why? Why, you ask? Because this envelope houses something. And I wanted to keep what it housed. I didn't want to sew down here because I didn't want to sew into the item that's inside, but it houses a very old handwritten letter from 1923. And that way I can put this whole thing in here. It's protected, it's safe, and it's something fun for the person to find, explore, and read when they get it. And they're like, oh, I didn't know that was in there. That's right, that's right, you didn't know. And I might make some little indication or something like, I don't know, look inside, <laughs> you know, or a little button or something there that would just indicate uh, something to look inside. But also if they fill this up and they want to replace it with more paper, they can easily do that. And the nice thing about envelopes is it gives you a little more width of a paper that you're working with so that it's easy to make a cover. And they tend to be of a strength that is going to survive in the mail. So generally they're I know not all envelopes are hefty, but some of them have enough heft where it's good to use as a cover because they've got enough heft. So this one's really cool. I love that. And so here's a pre-decorated one that I just played with. And then here's a plain uh, envelope that uh, anybody can have any fun and you do whatever you want with. So let's make some of these. Let's get to it. Da, 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 da. Enough of the yakety yak, Missy. Okay, so let's start with the plain one because probably most people have this. I'm going to start with it um, flap facing you and flap on the bottom. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to fold it in half. Okay, so now as I'm, uh, because I just made those three, I'm, I'm trying to learn on the fly here. So what is wiser to do? What is the smart thing to do first? I would say the smart thing to do first is probably um, uh, maybe stencil your outside if you're going to do that. And I just happen to have this uh, stencil here. So let me go ahead and stencil it and I'll just, where's my... 
Okay, you couldn't have gone far. You were right here. All right, elves, gremlins, where are you? Don't be hiding things. Okay, I just, let me look in the bowl. Is it there? Oh, goodness gracious. I'll be right back. Okay, I found it, my little ink dauber. Um, I think this time I'm going to use pink because I, w I almost gave up <clears throat> finding the brown one. So I'm just going to do a little quick stenciling. And this is what chews up, this is what chews up my ink dauber pads. It's stenciling with them. Um, you don't have to use your ink dauber pad. You, you can use other things, but it's just so darn handy. You know, it's right here and all. So, okay, let's just put that here. Can you see? Yeah. All right. Light wiggling doesn't uh, shred as much against the plastic. There, that's my theory. Okay. But now, maybe I still do want to do a little inking. Hmm? Okay, we'll do some inking. And maybe haloing around the edges to give it that more thumbed, vignette, well used sort of look. Yes, this is much better to do the. Uh, yeah. Now you can do, to do your um, design first on the cover makes life a lot easier because then you can get right to the edges. It's easy. You're not working on a lumpy bumpy. It's okay if you do it later. I did it later before and um, it still came out fine. Um, but just to keep things simple. Simple pimple. All right. Oh, geez, we're already at 11. Okay. I did too much yakking. Okay. Faster, Pam. Faster. Well, we'll do as many as we can. If we don't get to it, we'll, we'll do another video with some other ideas with envelope booklets because these are so cool and so fun and you can use them in so many different ways. Okay, so we have the back and the front and maybe, just maybe, you wanna stencil your pockets. So let's do that. You should probably have something down here that covers everything all nicey-nice. If you were organized. Hmm. Does that cover? Okay, let's just take you over there. Okay. All right, I'll move you over here. Okay. 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 I'm asking. Okay. Okay. All right. There we go. All right. Now let me get my brown. Um, okay. Today I'm using walnut stain. I'm using walnut stain. It's a dark brown distress ink because it was handy. Yeah. Okay. So look at all the prettiness here already. I mean, it, that's, I mean, I can just go home and, and, and just use this as an envelope and love it as is. Um, okay, so we're gonna fold up like that and we do have background. Now you can decorate the background too, or you can leave it as is. Well, let's just try one thing, just having an idea here. What if we put some script stamp there? Yeah, let's try that. Okay. Um, okay, I might have to do a couple videos. Let's just relax, relax, it's okay. Yeah, there's more videos. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, ah, 7 a.m. Oh, that was good. Um, Eastern time. Oh, that's cool. On an angle. Yeah, that's kind of cool. All right, uh, want a little more. Kind of messy, but sort of cool at the same time. Oh, there we go. Very cool. Liking it very much. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, got that. Can you see? I've got my lights are all over the place today. Okay, here we go. All right. Now, maybe I'm going to ink this up around just for a little emphasis. So, that's a word. Yep, yeah, look it up. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not a word. It is today. Okay, um, all right, we have that. Looking extra cuteness, right? Who, who can not say that's extra cute? Let's see, what do you want to put you on there? No, you're like from another time zone. Um, oh, you're so pretty. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, okay, let's see. I want to use something that, um, well, we can decorate the front at the end. Let's go ahead and put our signatures in. Okay, let me grab some paper. All right, I just grabbed some coffee dyed college rule. It doesn't, you don't even have to use coffee dyed. If you just have some uh, paper, some school paper, it'll work. Okay, so what um, I would, I would like my uh, little notebook <clears throat> to have the lines going across so it's easy for somebody to write in. If I'm checking in here, if I fold this directly in half, the little circle's not even going to be inside there. Not that that's a problem, but it's just not even going to be an issue. So um, I'm going to, hmm. let's see how many we want. Maybe one, two. You're a different paper. I'll put you over there. Uh, 
want three, four. Okay, so maybe I'll use four sheets, all right? I'm gonna fold them in half. Very technical, very technical. Mm -hmm. Lots of rocket science here. Okay, and I'm gonna do make this one the staple one so you can see what that looks like. Uh, and let me, let me, okay. I'm gonna use my pencil to mark this. Pencil, pencil this just here. I already got two pencils out this morning, so I know you're here, okay. Let me, let me uh, highlight the middle so you can see that on camera. It's just easier for everybody here. So there you can see where the middle is. Okay, so for to decide how big I want my papers, I'm gonna put my little book in here, my little uh, folded papers. And I'm gonna say I want it to go to about, well, I'm not gonna do the side yet. I'm just gonna do the bottom, okay? And now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that right there. All right, I'll just do it here. <laughs> Instead of leaving yet, I'm not gonna leave you. I'm right here, I'm right here, it's okay. Yeah, okay. Huh. Okay, right there. Trying to do a straight line. Come on, Pam, you can do it. No, you can't, who are you kidding? Okay, it's not gonna be a straight line, see? See, even though I try, all right, that's fine. Um, maybe I'm just gonna ink that up a little bit. Anyway, ink that up a little bit there, because we're here. And now, da 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 I've got a little notebook. Okay, so not yet. I'm, I don't, I've got, um, I've got my signature in here. Now, so what I'm gonna do, not sewing. Where's my little spongy? There it is. Okay, this is um, garbage. This is something I got in packing, and it's kind of like a a firm, but not firm, squishy foam. And probably you could use foam, you know, those foam sheets or a styrofoam or maybe um, maybe a towel, if you folded a towel up. Uh, but something that's gonna be soft enough where the uh, your swing line stapler can go through, but without bending the feet. So I doubled this over and uh, I put this down. Oh, I know that's in the middle, uh, cause I'm checking. Okay, I've got it where I want it. Put you there. Now I'm gonna try for, so it came north, so it's gotta be here. I'm gonna just put one staple in. Yep, big project here, okay. I think I know where the middle is this time. Okay, yeah, not bad, not bad. Okay, almost on the middle. Okay, let me zoom in so you can see, sorry. Oh, no, me yeah. closer, Whee! Okay, almost on the center, not bad, Pam. Okay, so now, can you see the little feet? The little feet? Okay, so we're done with you. And you can go over there too, you've done your work for the day. Go have a beer. <laughs> okay, you can put two more in if you want, but just for time's sake, I'm just gonna do one. And actually one is fine for a tiny little notebook like this. It's no big deal. It's just a little notebook. Um, you can use your scissors to fold these down. These bend very easily, or you can, you can even use your finger because they bend very easily. Just don't poke yourself. Okay, all right. So that, there we've got our signature in. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so let's fold it up, increase it, um, you know, if you don't have a bone folder, these, these things are amazing when you're junk journaling. Um, one day, give yourself the gift of a bone folder if you don't have one. It would just, it, I don't know, it just I don't know, it changes everything. Just, I don't know. But you can take other things like this or the end of your dauber. Come on, land here. Or your scissors and come here. But sometimes you get like marks from doing stuff like that. So that's where the, uh, the bone folder comes in real handy. Um, I actually, I washed my bone folder. <laughs> That's as good as I could get it. I can probably get some more off. But um, yeah, it had so much ink and, and glue and everything on it. I was thinking things were getting marked and bumpy uh, because of the, the stuff. But anyway, you can also wash these. Um, so then I thought I would like to, so now I have a little pocket here, okay? And I have a little pocket here, okay? So I'm, I'm good to go. Uh, but I've got these extra things hanging out and what can I do with them? Well, one thing I showed you the other day, you can fold them back in and create little extensions if you wanna do that or glue them and make little inside pockets if you wanna do that. But if that's not really where you're going with this little um, envelope notebook, <laughs> such intrigue with the envelope notebook today. Um, and you wanna also cut these open so that you have more pockets Okay, um, just take your ruler. Where's my ruler? Here it is. Excuse me. And put it down. And what we're going to do with one cut with our craft knife or scissors will work too, or any other gizmo that you have. This might be a little thick for some of the little uh, like fishing line ones, but um, the craft knife works really well. Can you see that? I'm just showing a little bit of the envelope and hopefully I'm checking the top and the bottom to make sure that, can you see? 
Um, I'm going to catch the bottom as well. If not, I can always come and snip off a little bit extra. But let me just go ahead and... Now, one thing is you want to extend your craft life, craft life, your craft, yeah, you want to extend your craft life, please. You want to extend your craft knife enough so that when you go to cut that, let, let's say if I'm too short, okay, I'm going to bump into my ruler with this little piece down here. And then that's going to make it difficult to cut. So make sure you extend it enough um, that you're beyond your ruler. Okay. And just do a couple cuts to go through, you're going through a few paste, uh, layers here. So don't get all excited. Good things are going to happen. Don't cut your finger off. Okay. And then retract, retract, and then you're safe and life is good again. And then you remove all these guys and you either put them in your craft uh, pile or put them in your craft pile. Yeah. That's what you do in your scrap box. <laughs> all right. So now we have a pocket, which we can do fun things with. We have a pocket here. These are all perfectly at the edge, nicely done. And then we also have this pocket and we have this pocket. So you can go ahead and fill that with all sorts of goodies. Okay. So let's just, uh, yeah, we're going to get one done. Okay. We might, we might do a few days of these. <laughs> all right. So, um, let's go ahead and decorate this little one up and, um, uh, just have some fun with it. Okay. So I'm just going to grab some random things. Here are random things. Okay. Let's see what we can put in here. Oh, you're kind of pretty. You're pink. Well, you might go in nice on the front. All right, here's where you just, this is where you start to have fun. You just sort of try things on for size and see what you like. Bunny's kind of cute, huh? Bunny's on, made of vellum. And, um, but we shall see. We have tickets. That might look cute inside. Let's put a ticket inside. Sometimes contrasting popping colors are fun. Maybe this bunny. Okay. Um, what else we got? We got little bird, bird uh, cards here. These are so cute. Aren't they so cute? I love these. These are, uh, these are the real ones. The, um, useful birds of America from a long time ago. Collector cards. Love these things. You can tuck cool things like that in here. Oh, you can tuck anything in here. Um, maybe some vocabulary cards. How cool to write. Oh, love that. Yeah, that should go in front. Okay. Hi, bunny face. Bunny face. There you go. Just peeking up. Okay. Oh, you can put whatever you like in here and, um, maybe some stickery things. Okay. Makes no sense, but it doesn't matter because there are no rules and we are, uh, making junk journals. So anything goes, which is kind of cool, right? Okay. Here is a stamp. So do I want to put a stamp on here? I don't know. I think I want to, I want to, boy, we are chatter pants today over there. Um, let's put something fun. Oh, you're a very serious owl, aren't you? Yes. Um, some kind of fun owl maybe. That's kind of cool. I like that. Okay. We could do you or, or we could do a butterfly or I don't know. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Okay. Let's go with the butterfly. Um, and that's where you just have fun. Okay. And now we're just having fun and decorating the front. Yep. I, okay. Maybe we'll carry on making envelope notebooks all week. I, I, I really like envelope notebooks and uh, I, I would love to have a back stock for journals and gift bundles and things like that. So yeah, let's make some, let's make some envelope notebooks. That looks really cute. And I think I would like to even amp up the coolness of it. I'm going to go look for a piece of fabric. I'm over here in my, my fabric stash looking for something, anything. Okay. Here's something. Let's see what we can do with this. This is an, I have no idea where it came from piece of fabric. It's kind of some kind of cotton or something. Okay. There we go. All right. Now these do not take half an hour to make. I'm just yakky pants today. So, um, you can actually make these in probably, you know, five, 10 minutes you can make these. And, um, so you could probably knock out a three or so. Well, I don't know. It all depends how fast you work and there's no rush. There is no rush. Fun is the primary focus. If you ever feel like you're not having fun, you just back away from the table and you go, you go for a walk, you sit yourself down, you have a little snack, you go call your sister, you just do something else because I want you to have fun doing this stuff. All right. Maybe I emphasize this a little bit, the ink. Uh, we're going to do something crazy with this one. I don't know why, but maybe I'm going to put more of this. Can, I, can you see that? I'm just going to try and stencil this a bit. See what this, with the, uh, with the script. Let's see what happens. Oh, that looks really cool. Look at that. How cool is that? Okay. I'm in love. I'm in love. 
Okay, and that's all. Oh, that looks pretty just like that. Oh, maybe, maybe I just want to leave it just like that. Or do I, do I do that? I could, I could angle it. I could do this and that. I could do this and then right in the center. Can't see much of the script that way. Oh, I really like that script though. Okay, I could raise this and put this little catty corner down. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, I think I'm going to glue the whole enchilada on there. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, these are entirely too much fun. If you start having too much fun, I want you to back away slowly, go for a walk, and call your sister. <laughs> okay? Uh, and you can tell her, you know, you know, I, I'm just entirely having too much fun with these um, envelope booklets, and be prepared to be receiving these for every Christmas and birthdays to the, um, until you're dead, <laughs> basically, because I'm going to be making a lot of these. Oh, I love that. So pretty. I don't know. There's just something about printed cotton that is so beautiful or stamped cotton. It's just so beautiful. Um, all right, let's glue this guy on. I'm using a Fabrifix glue. You could probably use any glue here, but the fabric to paper thing here is probably good to use a fabric glue. Not necessary though. I mean, you could use a white glue. It might come through your fabric a little bit, but just smear it down and, you know, use finger tool to spread out the glue around. Make sure you get your edges. But uh, yeah, everybody's got their own favorite glue, you know? Okay, there. There we go. We got enough of the script showing. I got my butterflies showing. I'm feeling good. Okay, I'm just going to ink this edge up because when I cut it off, I cut off my inking. And it's okay that we get a little blipper blop because, hey, it's aged. Mm hmm That's right. Oh, this is so pretty. I really love that. Okay, now we're not done. We can still stuff more. Uh, we have our front and our back pockets. So let's find some fun things we can put in there. Now you could find something maybe that you want to fold up, like have a, a little um, old check and uh, you might just want to ink around that a little bit. You know, if somebody's taking their little notebook somewhere, they may want to, you know, have a few things to pay. This is an old uh, digital kit image of an 1884 check, kind of cool. You know, what were they buying? And you get to see the old script, the calligraphy that they, they knew how to write back then, let's face it. Uh, uh, those were the good old days. When people wrote letters and, uh, you know, did that kind of stuff. Okay, they're just aging it up a little bit. Maybe you're going to, oh, you are going to fit like that. Look at that. Perfect. You didn't see that. It's going to fit. That's what I was trying to show you. Okay, so let's fold that that way. And I think I'm going to, since I'm going to fold it back on itself. Okay. All right, and you can put something on the back here or just leave it as is. Maybe I'll just pop a word on there. Any word present? I got a word. I found a word. I got journey. Okay. Okay, we're gonna deposit this check to journey because that's where our life is going to take us uh, for deposit only to journey. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just going to actually, I'm gonna backflip it. Mm, ink this here. Give it that little more. It's been in there for a while. Forgot to cash it. What was I thinking? And uh, in it goes in our little, our little extra secret space. Okay, so there it is, all tucked in. And we got one more little secret space. What can we put in there? Maybe we want to put you in there. You would go well in there. Okay, so this is a um, digital image of. A uh, Victorian trade card, okay, and uh, I could back this and on some cardstock and make it a little stronger, so it's a cute little journaling card. But for time purposes, I will just ink it up and pop it in there, and uh, so I can give you some different ideas of things. Oh, and I see a little baby. Come here, little baby. Uh, this is from Victorian people, I believe, um, in, in my essay shop. If you're looking for old vintage digital. Uh, downloadable pictures and stuff like that. You might find something that you like there, or you might have tons of your own and you don't need them and that's even better. Okay, all right, so we have things like that that you can take in and um, you can put little things on the back. What time is it? Okay. Uh, yeah, this was relaxing. Okay, um, yeah. No more of that rushing fuss. Mm -mm. Okay, let's just put some of those on there. Just give a little something. You know, a little something on the back. Um, 
you know, you don't have to, it's not necessary, but it can be, and, and they might want to use this in their own journal somewhere, stick it somewhere else, or um, just use it as a little writing paper. All right, so what do we got here? We've got little, okay, we've got to remember to pick up the silver star baking powder on the way home, because we have to bake little goodies for little Tabitha. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, all right, in the little pocket. So everything is nice and thin. So let's review nice and thin. And let me get grab a journal I'm working on. Okay, here's, here's a journal. Back it up so everybody can see what's going on. And what would I do? Pam, how are, how are you going to attach that to a journal? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, I could do a bunch of things. I could um, clip it to a journal page. Oh, where's my little bowl of paper clips? Okay. And doesn't that just look so cute? Okay, I'm just gonna put you, you go there. Okay, so I could just clip it to a page very simply with a, a plain or a cutie. Um, this is like one of those rose copper gold paper clips. And look how cute that is. That's so cute. Or if you made a pocket, let's say I glued the bottom here, I could just tuck the whole thing in here and you could be peeking out like that. Um, or you could take a page and you could do what I call the wraparound or the top hangover. Okay, so the wraparound looks like this. You wrap it around a page, somewhere in the middle of the page, and then you clip it on. And it's like, it's not gonna fall off. Or you could do it from the top and just let it hang, free hang. Or if you're, you're uncertain about that, clip it to the top. You could do the same thing with the bottom. But those are just some fun ideas that you can do with making envelopes. So that's with a very plain one, and that's with just one staple. Um, and you can put a lot of goodies in there, and it's a nice removable um, from your journal. If you don't want to decorate the back and you want to take the back and actually glue it to a page, you could totally do that, and it could be a permanent little notebook inside your journal for, for come what may. And uh, so I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed this. This was so much fun to uh, do with you guys. And uh, I will make some more this week so we can, uh, we can just practice different ideas on, on what to do with our envelopes. And uh, yeah, I really had a little fun. So, okay, this is the envelope notebook series starting now. Um, anyway, if you had fun, please like, subscribe, and share, and uh, hit the notification bell. And to all my uh, longtime subbies, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I love it that we all craft together and have fun. And welcome, a big warm welcome to all new subscribers. I'm so happy you came along and took a chance and clicked on this video, and I hope you jump on in and have some papery fun with us because we're all about having fun here uh, and um, if you're looking for I have an Etsy shop if you're looking for any vintage digital kits I also put surprise uh, completely heavily decorated chunky monkey junk journals for sale at random never know when I'm going to put them in there so just take a peek every once in a while you might be lucky and, and uh, get something that um, you, you find you might be interested in or I might also put in some gift bundle kits or um, some naked journals so that you can decorate them the way you like and um, so I may or may not do videos on those but um, well, you'll see as, as time goes along and uh, I have a newsletter it's a monthly emailed newsletter it's free you get uh, junk journal tips, a free digital image emailed to you every month, a checklist of uh, junk journal supplies, which is about seven or eight pages long of just things that you can look for. Cute little um, talk faster. I think I'm already done. Um, anyway, videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, 7 a.m. Eastern time, Tuesday, Thursday podcasts. Uh, come on, join the Facebook group and I'll see you next time. Remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.